Hi y'all, it's Chris Maxwell, the Eco Dweeb. Pardon my voice, I'm getting over a cold. It's been a minute since I've posted something, and I wanted to uh, do a new series that is uh, definitely Eco Dweeb related, but is not necessarily EV related. I purchased a couple Goal Zero Yeti 1000 batteries. They are a uh, 1000 watt hour, 1 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery bank with a built in AC inverter, USB ports, 12 volt DC out. It's quite a flexible piece of equipment. And one of the things that I realized this could be useful for is that super rare uh, occasion where you might push your car a little too far and run out of power. So today we're gonna run an experiment. Again, I've already done this so I know it works, but we're gonna run an experiment and see exactly how long and how much range we could add to my Hyundai Ionic from the Goal Zero battery with no solar panels attached to it or anything like that, just the battery's capacity. What does it add to the car? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera over so I can talk about the equipment a little bit and we'll get this experiment going. Okay, so I apologize for the wrapping paper, but I've got a camera set up to monitor the display on the battery. Um, as you can see, the turbo cord is connected. It is powered on. It is currently drawing five watts of power. Um, I had to modify the turbo cord, and I'm not going to tell you how, because the ground on the Yeti is not what the turbo cord wants to operate, but um, it does work. I've, like I said, I've done this before. So, we're going to use EV Notify, and I've got a phone set up in the car that is screen recording the EV Notify app right now, and we are going to connect the charger and see what happens. Before I do that, let me go ahead and tell this to start recording. And now, let's plug that in. So, turbo cord has clicked, turbo cord is blinking. If we come over here to my secondary monitor, we can see that we're drawing 1300 watts.
All right, so um, it cut the power port off at about 32 minutes of runtime. The battery got down to about 15%. And uh, I know that we added at least 1% to the car. I think it was 1.5%. Um, but, of course, the other phone went to sleep on me, so I only have a recording of oh so much of the charge. But it does work, and adding what it added, 3 to 5 miles, and then, you know, enough to be able to limp it to the next charging station. The two times I've run out of power, I've been within 2 miles of the charging station. So... I think that this uh, setup could work. Anyway, I will uh, be bringing another video along the lines of this with uh, kitchen appliances uh, in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned and uh, Happy New Year. Bye.